World's End. I'm going to make World's End really short and sweet. This book, thanks to DC, leak, not really leaking, but talking about the new Society book, made me fully understand this is a piece of shit book. The world doesn't get destroyed. Dark Seed is going to probably get pushed back. Granted, the world will not be in a state that would be potentially, you know, like um, close to livable. A lot of rebuilding. And basically all of the heroes survive because those are going to be the people who are in the next book society. This book, as I read this book, I kept that in mind. And I'm just going, yeah, you know, I think I'm, I, I really need to quit this. I really need to quit this thing now because it's it's unrealistic at the very least. Uh, there's no way these heroes could survive an attack like this. There's just no way. Especially when you have a stronger team of heroes fall. And um, I, I, I really need to stop. Yeah, I really do. Okay. Um, I'm going to be quick about this one here. This is what we call money grab. I'm going to call it like it is. It's a money grab. Keep in mind, the Inhumans are on shield right now. And um, this special star's... Uh, a very unique group of people and um, in in this very unique group of people because their book is selling like shit right now uh, they need a big name push and um, yeah unnecessary money grab that's all you need to know I am NOT gonna be buying two or three amazing spider-man I really can't say much about this that I don't like about Slot's work because Slot's work is really good. But that being said, I'm telling you with the freshness that was Otto, it's so freaking painful to go back to the old Peter. You know, with Otto, we saw something new, something fresh. He was always doing something interesting. Whether or not you liked it or not, if you didn't like it, it's interesting because he's challenging your what you think if you you know if you like it then it's like he's doing something right also and this it's the same old spider-man he's got a big deal meeting and he stops along the way to fight another super villain and i'm just like oh my fucking god can he can he once just make it to the meeting on time without meeting a super villain just once can somebody maybe who knows his secret identity Grab him, throw him into a taxi in a straitjacket, and drive his butt to the meeting so this way he's there. Oh my god, it's just getting so freaking annoying. But, you know, this is setting the stage for the, um, um, the, you know, the ghost, you know, to go again to Parker, um, industries to steal and destroy, um, from the inside. Ultimate Spider-Man. This is why you never put. Uh, this is why I'm sorry. This is why it's always bros before hoes. Because let me just tell you this: Miles told his bro, and his bro never told. He told his hoe, and the hoe told. Now, granted, she didn't. She didn't tell her dad. She told her sister, who then promptly told her dad, who's a freaking Hydra agent. And then they captured Peter. They captured all of his friends. And I'm like, oh, remember, bros before hoes. The art is good. I liked it. The storyline was decent, you know, even though I'm, jack I'm jacking it up right now. But that's the gist of what happened. Um, but, you know, I'm telling you, there's something weird, man, because it's like, I think I would be all over this. You know, it's Dr. Doom. He's involved with Hydra, and I'm, like, getting excited. But I'm going, it's over in a couple months, you know. Secret Wars is going to happen. The universe gets destroyed. And granted, things are going to be rebuilt from it, but it's not the same any longer. You know, they can change anything and everything. So, why should I get excited? You know, it's like, eh. Why? Same thing with this. Fantastic Four. Um, the end is here. Or near. And it's like... I don't know. I mean, it's like, as I'm going through this, there's these great fight, 
okay, keep in mind I'm using the term loosely. There's great fight with fight sequences, and I think a lot of people are gonna be pleased with the fight sequences, but it just seems to be unimaginative in a way. It's like you know, just people punching. I don't know. I think part of my problem is I've grown out of this phase and I want something more. And you know, I'm not getting more is the problem. But basically what happens is they need Sleepwalker to go to this to the dimension that Franklin Richards created um, in his dream like thing and then so that way they can shut down the bad guy there to get to make everything right. And um, I don't know, it's just I think if this was done like maybe 20 all right if this was a book in the 70s early 80s this book would be freaking fantastic but now it just seems like it's it, it's not it's not that cool anymore it's not really imaginative it's just you're just i don't want to say you're phoning it in but it's just not for me at least not as exciting who is thor okay we think we narrowed it down who it is Thor has been going around with his list, and there's only a couple people, one person left. Uh, we also have a very special deal with uh, the Minotaur and the Dark Elf. This part was fantastic. I love this because you see his origin, and um, that part was just cool. The, the guy is a ruthless bastard. I'll tell you that much. The rest of it, it's kind of like, you know, like they do a good job. But it's not um, what I would call, like, it didn't really capture the magic that the older Thors were having. Not the older, but the previous issues of Thor had. So that part was a little bit disappointing. Um, the art's good, but I think part of the problem is it's the artwork. You know, it's not as this, like, uh, it didn't, for me, I guess you could say, it didn't have that special look to it. It looked like just like any other comic book, and... Um, it it just kind of fit back into the normal universe, so to speak. Um, I still liked it, but um, I don't know. It, to me, it's missing. It's just off. It's missing something. How are the duck number one? On one hand, you're going to find a lot of people who are going to love this book. On the other hand, I, I've, I couldn't give two craps about it. Um... Basically, what they're doing is they're establishing Howard the Duck for people who don't know who he is, you know, or maybe only seen him from Guardians. Um, basically, it starts off with Howard the Duck. They tease, you know, joke. Well, maybe I was pulled from another dimension, and that's how come you don't have my stuff, you know, my records. And you know, there's there's little bits of humor all throughout this entire book, um, and I think that's for me part of where I'm lost at. Is I didn't okay okay I'm gonna say this this is my disclaimer. Um, uh, this is one of the last books I was reading, so I was thinking maybe maybe getting some book fatigue. So a lot of these book a lot of these jokes just weren't funny. Um, three months from now, I buy a trade. I might have an entirely different outlook on this, but for me, it just wasn't. It it just wasn't there for me. It's. You know, it's just like how you see a comedian and one person could be laughing their head off and the next the person right next to them just is bored stiff. I was the bored guy. Um, but basically what he's doing in this issue is he's hired, he's a detect, private detective and he's hired to retrieve an amulet. And um, the amulet was stolen by the black cat so he's got to go to Spider-Man for help and Spider-Man's just like, whoa, black cat, out of here. And, you know, it's like, listen, there's parts of it are really there's some really good stuff here. It's just, um, I think maybe it's just fatigue, comic book fatigue, being cynical based on everything you've, I've read earlier the, this, this week. And I just, I just, it's not up to what I would have enjoyed. That's like, I'm not reading the prophecy for an example right now. Cause I'm just can't handle it. All right. New Avengers. This is basically dealing with Doctor Strange, and he gets jacked up bad. Uh, he, they basically go through this doorway, 
and then they meet other swans and you know all of his people there are basically you know their spells are based off of words well his problem is this room has no words it's a, a as you can see it's a vacuum so there's nothing and he so he has to fight everything by himself and while his minions get destroyed the real surprise though is the end of this issue um, and this deals with somebody who's been absent for a couple of issues that has suddenly threw himself into the mix towards the end of this run um, overall I, I mean I enjoyed it but you know I'll be honest this is another one I'm reaching fatigue you know I need this thing done I need this thing wrapped up um, it went longer than what was necessary and um, I think some of that is hurting this stuff because I I think realistically speaking if this happened a couple months ago I'd be oh, book of the week now I'm like going huh, it's good but can we just end it Anyways, that is some comic reviews for you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Like, share. I'll have more stuff for you later. Let me know what you guys liked, what you guys bought. And until next time.